In today's video, I will show you how to deploy your Django project from GitHub into your Ubuntu virtual private server. I will also show you how to install Django itself and how to run your Django website using Unicorn web server together with Nginx proxy server. Hello guys and welcome back to yet another episode of me building an affiliate website using Django React Stack. And in the previous video, we have already set up our domain. So the domain is pointing from my domain register to Cloudflare DNS servers and from there to my Linode virtual private server. And now is the time to put everything into the production environment. So let's get started. First, I will open the terminal and in the terminal, I will connect into my virtual private server. Okay, I just log into my Ubuntu VPS. And now I want to go into my folder where I hold all the project files. But before we can uh, pull all our project files from GitHub, we need to send whatever changes we made in the previous videos. So I will just quickly commit all the changes and push it into my GitHub account. I will name my commit new project and I will commit to the master branch. Cool, our source code was pushed. And now we can return back into our terminal. And in the terminal, I will pull all my source code from github.com by using command sudo git clone and my path to my github repository. So the project was loaded from the github.com into my folder. Then I have to go directly into my project folder 10x. Then I have to install Django and all additional packages that are listed in the pip file block. And I will do that by using command sudo pip and install. All right, it asked me to use another Python because in my project file, I use Python 3.9, but on my Linode private server, I actually use all the Python, maybe 3.6, I don't know. Just to be sure, I will get my Python version by using command python slash v and it says that I'm using python 2.7.16 which is not compatible with my Django project. Instead I have to use python 3.6.8 which I got by using command python 3 version. So the correct command for installing all the python packages from pip file is actually sudo pip and install So to recap, I have Django installed, but before I can set up Unicorn, I have to create a configuration folder which won't be a part of my Git repository. So I can store only my VPS specific variables such as secret keys and other highly sensitive informations. So I will create this folder in my application folder. And I will create folder by using command sudo make their config. I must not forget to do the same in my local environment. As a next step, I will give a sudo user access to my Django application folder so it can create a SOC file. With the all permission set, now we can create our Unicorn service file. And in this new configuration file, we will tell Unicorn to log in as a sudo user, point it into my Django project together with the path to my Django project virtual environment and to run 10 workers which will serve Django requests. So now I can save the file and close it. Now if I start my Unicorn service for the first time by using command sudo systemctl start 10x, it should create a SOC file in my Django project folder. No error so far, so it seems good. Then I can enable my Unicorn service by using command sudo systemctl enable 10x. Alright, if I want to check if my Unicorn service is running, I can do that by issuing command sudo systemctl status 10x. And as you can see, my Unicorn service is running and it executed 10 different individual workers. So with our web server ready, we can now move into our proxy server engines. As for the engines, we want to create a completely new configuration file just for our Django project. So I will create a new configuration inside the folder engines size available. 
and inside the configuration file I will tell engines to listen to all the traffic going through the port 80 coming from my domain and pass it as a proxy to my Unicorn service. I will save the file now and I will link this new configuration file to the main engines configuration file. Before we restart the engines, we need to check that the configuration is correct and there is no typos or errors. I will do that by command sudo engines t. It returns a message that uh, syntax is okay, so we can move on. Now I can finally restart my engines to load the new configuration. I do that with the command sudo systemctl restart engines. Now theoretically, I could go to my browser, type in my domain URL and I should see my website. But I cannot do that yet because I have to do a little bit of cleanup inside my Django settings.py. You see previously we have created specific folder config inside our Django application folder and that config folder is not the part of my GitHub repository. So I can put there production specific variables that works only on my VPS and not on my macbook and vice versa so hold on for a minute so after cleaning up my settings.py from development environment specific uh, variables and moving it into my configuration file and change the values for the production environment now i'm ready to restart the unicorn server so it takes the new changes in those configuration files i will do that by restarting the unicorn service sudo systemctl restart 10x and now if i start the browser and put there my domain name i should see my website correctly loaded and as you can see my website is uh, live anyone who has internet can access my website now so i think i'm done for today i thought that i would manage to do much more today but it's already late and I think I will leave setting up the SSL certificate and linking my website with Google Analytics and Google Search Console for next episode. So if you like my journey, like, subscribe and see you next time.